Greetings all, this is Eagle1023 coming to you from Tampa, Florida. Um, I, this video is about a response to a survey that Google just sent me and um, and I sent this their way and what I wanted to do was express myself and I'm, I suspect a lot of you will agree. Um, I'm not pleased with Google, I gave them very low marks and here's what I wrote them. I want to read this out loud. I have this on my notepad, I copied and pasted it from the Google survey. I said, I'll be blunt, a lot, although I'm certain, as with all other concerns expressed from countless others, it will go on deaf ears. This is yet just another act to suggest that you actually listen. We know better, though. Uh, just the facts, please. YouTube has proven to be the greatest disappointment on the World Wide Web, bar none. What was once the most iconic, expressive platform ever created, the web's Mona Lisa, so to speak, has become nothing more than an information collection agency. This intentional transformation did not happen by accident, and so many of us are fully aware of this. I say shame on all of you. Let's begin, shall we? Our friends were killed off. The channel design and functionality has been obliterated, making it more difficult to review information. The so-called upgrades have further deteriorated into a visual eyesore, removing all creative expression of each member. The censorship of thought and expression is blatantly obvious, unwarranted, and unnecessary. Free expression has been erased. Our privacy no longer exists. Google has proven that it is not a friend of the people. YouTube has lost its edge while its corporate owners continue to show a complete disregard for the members. It is, after all, this team of many millions whom you've forgotten made YouTube successful in the first place. Our individual channels now hide in the background, all the while you promote channels with no real substance. Ah, the continued dumbing and numbing down of our culture. Data is collected without our previous knowledge or consent, hidden behind distorted legalese used as a means to justify the evisceration of free speech and privacy. We have become merely numbers in the cog of an unscrupulous machine. Make no mistake, nothing happens by accident. The dissemination of information shared around the globe is a threat to some, those who feel they have something to lose or hide. Google is no exception here. We continue to tolerate the destruction of this platform only because there is no real viable alternative as of yet. Though I'm quite certain that should another platform succeed in addressing the concerns of millions and respect each of us as sovereign individuals, Godzilla Google will just come around and destroy it. We'll dumb and numb it down as well. <clears throat> Greed and the power of control eventually destroy all that is good and decent. Let me continue here. It is with great sadness that I'm forced to express these facts. However, I'm left with no choice. It is your actions which foster my disgust and disappointment. I would rather have expressed support for your efforts, but I truly see nothing positive here. Forcing members to support Google Plus is just another slap in the face. Fact is, if Google Plus was of value, we would have gladly incorporated it into our daily online activity. Your, attempt, your attempts to monopolize the web is literally destroying your name and reputation. You hear that, Google, if you even care? And for what it's worth, removing the comments from our inbox was just another slick move in a series of never-ending disappointments. Trust, uh, truth is, I cannot in good conscience offer praise for the further destruction of what was once a blessing to all. I can only hope that you will take my criticism to heart and may choose as always choice, to reconsider your actions and act to begin transforming YouTube back to the valuable platform it once was. You want to do right by the people? Then consider the KISS theory when you're making decisions that affect so many. Keep it simple, stupid. Provide less censorship. We're big boys and girls. We can handle the negative comments and trolls. There's no reason for you to babysit. Allow for more personal expression by reverting back to the channel design from many years ago. Bring back our friends so that we may expand our individual channel's popularity and success. Our words and thoughts have value too. It shouldn't, be, it shouldn't all be about the god of money and power. Far too many worship these days. Place unprecedented value and respect for the First and Fourth Amendments of the Constitution. You will earn more respect and support around the world from this action than you could even possibly begin to imagine. If that is your goal, that is. Um, I seriously doubt it. Um, and finally, listen to your members and stop making decisions that continue to destroy this once great platform. Greed is not a virtue. Control is for the weak of mind and spirit. 
I'll end it here. I do not expect much from this heartfelt message. I do thank you, however, for allowing me to express myself. We can only hope that you'll listen. And this is what I responded to in a survey that I just completed that Google sent me. So um, I'm hoping that other people have received a survey and that you express your thoughts just as well. Um, I know so many people are disappointed. All of us, uh, especially the smaller channels, are suffering from this. Um, I even signed up under the Google Plus today. I create, linked it to a Google Plus account, plugging my nose, you know, and shoveling the shit from away from the front of my door just to do this. And I still cannot comment on people's videos. It's still They still block me from commenting, even though I have a Google Plus account now. So I'm sure that's a technical issue that um, they'll help resolve um, when they get around to it. Um, so anyway, I am disgusted. I'm disgusted with um, with Google. I'm disgusted with, with how YouTube is, is continuously deteriorating. You know, it's, it's um, unbelievable. So I just wanted to, um, I wanted to express myself. And um, that's all I have. Um, you know, I'd say leave comments. I don't know if I'll be able to respond back to you, but but I certainly do appreciate the comments. And I know a lot of you are frustrated. Many of you have expressed that to me. Um, I am as well. Uh, it's, it is truly a shame to see something that was once so awesome, so so beautiful, totally hoard out. And, and that's what's happened. Um, and it's not by accident. I, I'm convinced that the awakening that is happening is the reason behind this. Uh, information was being disseminated far too quickly um, and, and literally instantaneously. And I think that's a threat to the, the, the powers that be. I think it scares the hell out of them that people are waking up. And YouTube is probably the greatest platform for that awakening. Um, more people come to YouTube to learn what's going on than anywhere else. In fact, it's replacing the corporate whore media. So I think that's a threat to the powers. And so Google and in its infinite wisdom has discovered ways to dumb and numb this platform down, to continually shove those who are small channels, those with concerns and, and real ideas, into the back of the closet. And they have every intention of locking the closet door. Um, that's, you know, that's, that's what I think. I, I think that their intent is not good. Um, they do not exist. This YouTube is not around for the benefit of the members. YouTube is just a money maker for them. Um, and I think a lot of you will agree with that. So anyway, I'm done. I just wanted to, to express myself. And, um, you know, I hope you leave a comment. And again, it's Eagle 1023. I'm signing up. I'll be back. Namaste.